It all starts with Suchita, our protagonist who is just getting up to go to his work, arriving already very late, but on the way he meets a little girl named Anzu, who when talking to him, thinks he wants to pick her up. Suchita asks her what she is doing alone in the street, to which she answers that she is waiting for her mother to go to the garden, and at that moment, her mother arrives, allowing Suchita to leave. We see then how both characters arrive at the Hanamaru Kindergarten, where Anzu enters the place with her mother, receives her credential, and marvels at all the games and places that the garden has, anxious to start going. On the other hand, Suchita apologizes for being late and meets Yamamoto, his co-worker, who immediately leaves him obsessed, and is amazed by how cute she is, getting to help her to welcome the children. It's time for the beginning of the school year ceremony, where while Yamamoto is giving his speech, Anzu meets a girl a little surly at first as she asks him to be quiet and another one who is more shy and adorable. In the end, it is Suchida's turn to introduce himself, but he realizes that none of the boy's mothers accept him, so he tries to give his best speech to introduce himself, but Anzu ruins it by reminding him that he tried to pick her up, so Suchida gets nervous and tries to explain himself, but ends up falling even lower than he had already done. After the ceremony, Anzu meets with the girls from before, the one with the poker face is Hairaji or Hai, and the shy one is Kaum. As they talk, Suchida is worried that he has made a terrible first impression, but his friends try to cheer him up. While this is going on, Anzu and the others are out playing around. But Kaum's ribbon gets blown off in a tree, she gets unfortunate since her brother gave it to her, so Anzu decides to go look for it herself, climbing the tree and worrying everyone. However, the girl does not give up and continues to climb and move around the tree, until she finally manages to get the ribbon, only to fall to the ground being caught by Suchida. Soon after, the mother arrives to scold her and there, Suchida recognizes her as Sakura, her senpai in high school. After the girls leave, Suchida gathers to meet her co-workers, Kuzano from the Haimawara class, Kamoshiro from the Chiripa class, and Yamamoto in the Momo class. It is here, where Tsuchida also learns that there are very few preschool teachers, and that is why the mothers were so surprised when they saw him among the teachers. Then, he goes on to tell them a little about how he and Sakura were friends in high school, going back to a talk that they had with her shortly before leaving for the United States with her husband, because besides graduating, she was also going to have a son, promising her friend that he would be equal to her. Back to the present, we see how Sakura is telling this to Anzu too, who is astonished to hear how good a friend her mother is. This one, on the other hand, feels something worried by his terrible first day, but he is not discouraged and decides to continue trying as much as he can. The other girls talk to their parents about how good friends they made today, and Anzu and her family have dinner while talking about Tsuchida. Bedtime comes, and Anzu doesn't want a goodnight kiss, as she expects her beloved to give it to her. However, Tsuchida cannot sleep, so he goes to play video games to distract himself for a while, but this causes him to arrive late the next day, where Sakura and Anzu wait for him, since this last one wanted to propose to him. And as if it were not enough, Sakura gives them her blessing for 10 years from now. This is observed by all the Tsuchida's companions, who realize how interesting things will be from now on. Sometime later, Tsuchida finally manages to get to class on time, where he tries to be as friendly as possible with Yamamoto, but Kawashiro realizes what's going on and annoys him a bit for being so transparent. Then we see how Tsuchida's class is the most unruly and troublesome, having Anzu asking him about everything while he works, the kids fighting or wanting to go to the bathroom, and a little girl named Yuna crying for a puppy. Because she has too much to do, she inadvertently gives Anzu and her friends permission to explore the school, so Petrio sets off to see the place. On their way, they find some very large slides which they want to go up, but are too afraid of the height, so they decide to keep looking elsewhere, or something to have fun with, arriving in a room with props for a festival. Here, another teacher finds them, and Suchida is scolded for leaving them unsupervised, becoming to which Yamamoto worries about him. Leaving the principal's room, he returns to his class, where Anzu quickly reveals to everyone that she has a forbidden love with Suchida, and that in the future, he will become her husband. This causes the headmistress to summon him again and ask him to keep this aside, so Anzu goes to apologize, knowing that he got Suchida in trouble. On his way to the classroom, he tells her about his problems in his new job, but Anzu encourages him to continue since he knows that if he tries, he can make it. At that moment, Kuzanam appears to ask him to play a little with his students, and while he does so, we learn that the principal is intrigued to know what class Suchita will do, since all the classrooms of the school are similar to their teachers. Suchita continues playing with the children, and in that, those in his class notice, so to make up for not playing with them, he takes them to the big slide from before, where he slides with Anzu in his arms. In this way, little by little, Suchita gets the hang of being a teacher and getting along better with his students. Soon after, while Anzu and Kaum are playing and talking about Kaum's rabbit, a boy named Kenji approaches them to tease them, saying that the rabbit will of loneliness because Kaum is not taking care of it. Immediately, Anzu recognizes Kenji as the school threatening him to leave her friend alone, but Hairaji shows up and being a genius, knows that a rabbit does not bite loneliness. 
Kenji tries to look smarter, saying anything that might sound scientific or clever, but Hayareji undoes him at every attempt, and the argument is joined by Tsuchida, who can see how Kenji runs away, very upset that Hayareji has beaten him in intelligence. That is why he begins to suck her, looking for some weakness in her, until he hears how she wants to go to a forest where there are ghosts and proceeds to mock her, for believing that they exist, so he challenges her to go to the forest at night, to check if the ghost is real, but Tsuchida asks them not to do so, to which Hayareji heeds. However, at night, Kenji goes into the forest, determined to defeat Hairaji, but as he goes deeper, he starts to get scared, until he finally sees the ghost and in his flight, he finds Hairaji, who shows him that it was just a pile of garbage. This makes her a little sad, since that place is special to her, as it is where she used to help her father with his work. In the end, they are both found by Tsuchida and Hairaji's dad, and the next day, Kenji admits defeat, and not only that, but he becomes Hairaji's disciple. We move on to lunch in Tsuchida's class, where Anzu is since he has been ignoring her and her attempts to flirt with him becoming as sentimental as in a soap opera, interesting her friends seeing how deep their relationship is. However, Tsuchida is more interested in knowing what some kids are doing in their favorite game and knowing what to do to pass a mission, looking like just another kid in the classroom. At that, Yamamoto arrives with an apron of Tsuchida arranged, but seeing that he is so smiling, Anzo gets jealous of him and climbs on him to reaffirm his territory, although Yamamoto thinks it is a game and pounces on Tsuchida, letting him feel all of his plot and this gives the alert to Anzu that he must act. For that reason, while Tsuchida recalls this cute scene, Hairaji tells Anzu that he has a problem since Tsuchida likes women of large proportions. Therefore, Hairaji puts her plan into action, to inflate her friend as a balloon to give her an advantage, but this does not work. So they move on to their next plan to pay attention to Anzu's personality, and since this is not an easy thing to do, the next thing to do is to cook. That way, Anzu starts cooking as soon as she gets home, mixing everything she can in a pot, while her mother only advises her to put a lot of love into it, as this way she will be able to make her feelings reach Tsuchida. The next day, she brings her mysterious file to Tsuchida. However, he cannot eat it because of how disgusting it is, and as soon as she tastes it, she immediately vomits. Soon after, she tells him that she is in a love triangle with Yamamoto, but Tsuchida explains to her that in his opinion, children can also fall in love. Then he goes to play with some kids who promise to give him advice on his video game. This makes Yamamoto think that Tsuchida always has fun with his class. She wakes up at home and has breakfast with her sister, Ayumi. They discuss how their parents are always worrying about them and sending messages. She arrives at school early to prepare for the day's class. As she waits, her classmates arrive, with Tsuchida being the last as usual. She shares a story with her class to entertain them. She bumps into Hairaji on the way out, who is engrossed in a book and compliments her on dressing like a cute panda Nico. Further down the hallway, Kim is crying because some kids broke her doll, but she quickly repairs it. Lastly, Tsuchida invites her to an amusement park as she doesn't have many friends in school, but she shies away, suggesting Anzu take her place instead. This disheartens him so much that his students comfort him later. After Anzu finds out about the situation, she wants to go to work with Yamamoto. However, Yamamoto resolves the issue by befriending Anzu. This leaves Anzu feeling confused. When it's time to leave, Yamamoto fixes Kyon's toy and goes shopping, where she meets many wonderful people. When Yamamoto returns and sends a message to her father, he mistakenly assumes that Tsuchida is her boyfriend. At a bar, his friends tell him that Yamamoto doesn't understand love as she hasn't noticed anything since high school. This means he still has a chance with her, but he needs to make sure she notices him. Time later, we move on to see how Anzu is telling a romantic story to Tsuchida. We are very excited to see how he reacts, but due to her bad luck, he doesn't seem very interested. That makes her sad, and she takes it out on her friends, to whom she expresses her frustration that Tsuchida doesn't seem interested in her. Since Hiraji knows how unrealistic these fictional situations are, she thinks the best option is for them to set her up for Tsuchida themselves. So Anzu invites him on a date, where he shows up in a Kawashiro cosplay. Then she takes him out for coffee, as if it were a real date, to which everyone applauds, but at that, Hiraji gives them a drink with two straws. And while Anzu struggles to reach the glass, Tsuchida ends up drinking it all, making her sad. She then asks him if he loves her, to which Tsuchida replies yes, so as not to make things worse. This makes her very happy, to the point where she invites him for a ride. But it's just them in a toy carriage around the playground, where the teachers can see him and be happy for the happy couple. Then pretending a night together with her friends, Anzu arranges the scene so that they have a typical starry night with a shooting star that lets them stay together for a lifetime. But as Tsuchida doesn't want to play along, he ruins the atmosphere. And to save his troubles, Hairaji mentions to Tsuchida that on that bench, those who kiss stay together forever. Just before he takes advantage of the girl, the recess bell rings, signaling the end of recess and everyone must go back to class. Anza refuses to give up until Tsuchida assures her that he enjoyed their date and arranges for them to continue later. As a result, Anzu spends the rest of the day nervous, anticipating where they left off in the afternoon. 
Shortly after, Suchida tells the class he won't attend for a while due to his wedding. He says goodbye and asks everyone to behave for teacher Yamamoto, who will be replacing him. Anzu isn't bothered. In fact, she's excited since she wants to marry Suchida. The next day, Yamamoto arrived in class and mixed with Anzu's class. Anzu offered to help Yamamoto first and Yamamoto asked Anzu to get some colored paper to make origami. While looking for the colored paper, Anzu made a mess. After completing her first task, Anzu asked Yamamoto if she could help even more than before, such as serving tea to others or bringing them balls to play with. At the end of the day, Anzu is tired after working hard. Anzu says goodbye to Yamamoto and the rest of the class. However, before leaving, Anzu notices that Yamamoto still has work to do. Anzu offers to continue helping Yamamoto and the other teachers. Together, they put everything away. As they work, Anzu talks to Yamamoto and admires her beauty in the evening light. Anzu realizes why Tsuchiga loves her so much and thinks he might try to win her heart. However, Yamamoto disagrees and shows her that Tsuchida loves her and finds her beautiful, despite her clumsiness and innocence. As a result, Anzu shouldn't worry. They end up becoming friends, and the next day, Anzu excludes Tsuchida from their conversation. Days later, Anzu flirts with Tsuchida as usual, and asks him to go out with her on Sunday, but he declines having other plans which makes her suspect he's seeing someone else. To get to the bottom of things, Anzu and her friends take on the role of detectives and investigate Tsuchida's activities. Sunday comes and Anzu uses her mother's phone to call her boyfriend and ask where he is. Upon learning he is at home, she advises him to go out and not spend the whole day there. As a result, Hanamura's detective crew begins to follow Tsuchida as he takes a stroll. However, the girls are easily diverted by distractions, except for Hairaji. In the end, Tsuchida reaches a maid cafe and becomes ecstatic upon seeing the waitresses. As he leaves, he encounters two intimidating men but tries to avoid them. However, he throws a toy he won into a machine and one of the men abruptly detains him, taking him to their boss. Sakura follows the girls until she sees them ask Tsuchida to throw the garbage properly. Mistaking their actions as she comes out of hiding to rescue him. However, once she realizes her mistake, she runs back to her hiding place to continue spying on the girls. At the end of the day, Tsuchida is by himself in a park, appearing very lonely and unhappy. Anzu believes that he is upset because a girl stood him up, so she accompanies him to provide comfort and share information. Sakura was concerned about Tsuchida's personal life more than the girls. However, Hanamaru's detectives are providing him with company as they try to cheer him up after a lonely day. The next day, we observe how the girls onto Tsuchida to go out and play with him. Along the way, Kaun tripped and got separated from the group, but Yu, a boy from the Haimaware class, helped her out. Kaun finds him adorable and froze at the sight of him. Afterward, Yu's friends come to hear what happened. With Hiraji's assistance, they learn more about Yu. They question Kaun and discover she is in love with Yu. They encourage her to confess or to thank Yu for helping her. Anzu advises Kaun to increase her femininity, which is dangerous but effective. So they promptly put their plan into action, writing a letter to thank Yu for his help. However, Hiraji soon realized that almost none of the kids could re accept her. Therefore, she quickly abandoned that idea and moved on to the next one, giving you a gift. But when Kaun went with you to give him some colored chips, he stumbled and you had to help him again, making Kaun nervous. Sochita arrives as Anzu shares the plan with him by mistake, leaving him as an observer. Hiraji takes you to the classroom where Kaun and others are already waiting. Hairaji attempts to express gratitude, but her nervousness causes her to struggle. After noticing that Yu left her friends waiting, she gains confidence and finally conveys her appreciation, leading Yu to invite her to play with them. One day, Yamamoto in Tsuchida's class goes to the swimming pool. While changing, Anzu flaunts her new to her friends in hopes of attracting Tsuchida's attention and affection. However, when she emerges, he doesn't react much but puts on a happy face to please her. He even starts dancing in joy, but his primary concern is what Yamamoto is wearing. Then a person arrives wearing a small causing instant admiration from onlookers, including all the children. After stretching, everyone starts swimming. even Kaun, who is usually afraid of water, courageously joins her friends. Meanwhile, Anzu is upset that Suchida is ignoring her, so she and her friends devise a plan for her to use synchronized swimming to catch his attention. Anzu and her friends attempt synchronized swimming in front of Suchida. They struggle as none of them can swim, and he must assist to prevent drowning. Despite this, Anzu and Suchida seem to grow closer. However, Yamamoto interrupts and draws Suchida's attention away. Faced with the fact that nothing is working, Hiraji suggests something that could risk Anzu's life, but she has no problem with this, and immediately, Kaun goes after Suchida, warning him that Anzu is in trouble, like he was just playing shark with Hiraji. After that, Suchida scolds her for scaring him, since he was worried about her, and after she explains how she feels jealous, Suchida promises never to look at Yamamoto again, or at least he's going to try. Back at home, Yamamoto talks to Mayumi about Tsuchida, but she has no idea what's going on, and Mayumi knows Tsuchida will have a hard time with her. The following day, while Tsuchida is at work, 
A girl comes to the school looking for something. As she arrives, we realize it's Satsuki, Suchida's sister, who's there to scold him for not grooming himself, leaving clothes at home to dry, falling asleep before work, and more. Yamamoto invites her to stay for class, where she meets Anzu. Satsuki realizes it's tough from the beginning, but her brother remains lazy, causing her frustration. She storms out in the classroom and meets Yamamoto, saying she anticipated her brother's incompetence. Yamamoto tells her to keep watching because Suchida is great with kids. He proves it when he helps a child who stumbles and stops them from crying. Next, they make clay models of things they like. Suchida notices something's wrong with Kaun and takes her away. She just needs to go to the bathroom but is scared to do it alone. By lunchtime, Satsuki had prepared a large bento for Tsuchida. Even though she suggests going home, he hasn't been listening. Later, Satsuki tells her family that she will stay. They go home together, and she promptly starts cleaning up the mess. Finally, she rests on her dear brother's bed. Days later, Tsuchida finished greeting everyone as they left class. Sakura and her daughter approached him to ask if he had plans for the next few days. When he said no, they invited him to visit his family in his hometown. At that moment, Yamamoto appeared and was also invited to join. On the train ride to the city, the girls and adults chat and joke with Tsuchida about the trip feeling like a honeymoon for everyone. To ease the tension, Sakura shares a story from school about Tsuchida always following her around because he was in love with her. Eventually, they reach their village with many sunflowers. Even though Tsuchida desires to help with the luggage, he focuses more on the girls with Yamamoto. They reach Tsuchida's home, where his mother and sister await them. They are surprised that Yamamoto came along, but they quickly learn that Tsuchida does not have grandchildren yet. Anzu is the one keen on becoming Tsuchida's wife. At night, they all play with fireworks. They notice that Tsuchida is feeling down. To cheer him up, Sakura suggests taking him to the river the next day. She says they can reminisce about their childhood memories there. The next day, Tsuchida stares at Yamamoto while they are by the river. Sakura shows up to snap him out of it and reminds him of the past. They once talk about Tsuchida leaving the girl he liked because he didn't want to interfere with her plans. However, Sakura inspired him when she became the girlfriend of her art teacher. Now, Tsuchida realizes that his friend got married, but he is still the same. He wants to show that he can change, so he jumps into the river with everyone else. Sadly, it doesn't work and he fails. Later, Satsuki attempted to show Tsuchida a prize she won but didn't get a chance since she was occupied with the girls. In the afternoon, she surprised everyone by making Naoki, a dish she prepared for her brother who is in the cooking club. He saved Satsuki for last, causing her to be upset. During dinner, everyone relished the meal and asked Tsuchida to guess who cooked it. To ease the situation, Anzu and Sakura share stories in the garden about how Tsuchida saved and fell in love with her. At bedtime, Anzu and Satsuki go to the bathroom where Anzu asks if she is still upset with Tsuchida. Satsuki explains how they used to be closer and how Tsuchida realized her feelings without her telling him. Anzu understands that he is still the same way. Soon after, the village festival happens. Satsuki wishes to spend time with her brother, but he is more worried about keeping an eye on the girls and making sure no one gets lost. This makes her jealous, and she runs away from the group. Later, we see a flashback of when Satsuki was a child. Her brother went to the temple to find her and take her back home to their parents. Now, Yamamoto is back in the same place and situation. However, this time, she gets a chance to share with her brother about the cooking club prize she had won. During the fireworks, he attempts to hug her, but unfortunately, he cannot. Summer break is over and Anzu arrives back to school with a tan, excited to see Suchida as she missed him well away. During class, Suchida instructs the students to draw something they experienced on vacation. Although everyone had something to draw, Oa was unable to go on vacation because of her parents' work. Instead, she learned to shout like her dad while helping at his store. Everyone is surprised when Aoi has to leave the garden alone because her parents are busy working. This worries Tsuchida and the others, but Hiroji comes up with an idea. Aoi wants to help in the family business when she arrives home, but her father does not allow it. Then, Sakura and the girls arrive, claiming to need to buy something, but just wanting to entrust something to the girls for a moment. They are very interested in Aoi's father's work and ask to help him in the store to attract more clients. Aoi noticed that everyone except herself was assisting with sales and quickly went to investigate. But the girls kept insisting until Eloy finally joined them to work. She was skillful in attracting and convincing customers what to buy, and her father understood that she knew how to help him. Maybe he could take her somewhere after they close. The next day, Eloy drew her parents on her paper in happiness that she could now assist them in the fish market. Sometime later, Suchita meets a girl whose sandals broke, so he helps her back to her house, encountering the same men who scared him when he threw garbage. However, the girl named him at Chiku stops them, knowing how intense they are, and invites Suchita to take a bath with her, relaxing. The next day, while she is telling this to her companion, a luxurious car arrives with Hinajuku and the Yakuza, who, upon seeing Tsuchida, immediately warns that she has come to propose to her. She goes then to talk to the headmistress, telling her how perfect Tsuchida is for her and how kind he is. So they get to know each other well, they have arranged for her to attend the school where he teaches. But the headmistress and Kawashiro are not worried, 
Because if Suchita acts as usual, the girl will lose interest. Therefore, he starts to do everything he usually does wrong, but in the end, it plays against him and ends up interesting Hinajiku more, who is going to propose marriage directly, to which Anzu arrives to prevent it because she will be the one who marries him. The conversation escalates until it gets to Yamamoto, and Suchita is enraptured with her. But as they explain so poorly, Hinajiku believes that Yamamoto is nothing more than a and goes to confront her, only to realize that she is an innocent and feminine woman realizing that she is no match for her. So she decides to leave Suchita, as she has nothing in comparison to Yamamoto. But then, Amzu runs to encourage her since she knows that even though they are small, in the future they will grow up and be like Yamamoto, and then they will be able to marry Suchita. This motivates Inajiku to keep going to school and to keep trying to get Suchita's love, which everyone notices, seeing how friendly Hanajiku has become with the other children. Her father above all is the happiest, seeing how much his daughter has matured and how much fun he has at Hanamaru. We see Hanamaru, a cartoonist, struggling to complete his manuscript as the deadline approaches. He asks his partner Mayumi to speak to his boss and ask for more time because he's blocked and doesn't know what to do. Mayumi discusses the situation with the boss and clarifies it. She later realizes she forgot to give Hanamura his gift. He arrived at the park hoping to overcome his creative block. However, the girls approach him to retrieve their ball. Curious about his mood, they learn that he's been struggling with his love life. They discover that he likes Mayumi, but he's too shy to confess. Hiroji noticed how he acted around her and asked if she had any idea about his feelings. The girls noticed that Hanamura was feeling down, so they decided to exercise in the garden to cheer him up. However, Hanamaru remains uncertain about Mayumi's feelings towards him. Meanwhile, Suchita is shopping with Yamamoto, who invites him over for dinner as a way of thanking him. She introduced herself and then discovered Suchita's love for her sister. Mayumi decided to take her sister away and cancel the dinner. Later that evening, Mayumi returned with Hanamaru. She had been inspired by her sister's garden drawings and saw how interested Hanamaru was in them, which motivated her to start working. Later at home, she realizes she messed up with Suchita and needs to apologize for ruining plans with her sister. Both sisters are equally clueless with men, so neither Suchita nor Hanamaru will have an easy time romancing them. Days later, Suchita's students are drawing pictures of their future aspirations. One of the most unexpected ideas comes from Anzu, who wants to marry Suchita and live in a huge house overlooking the ocean. Meanwhile, Kum has multiple career paths in mind, but the abundance of options is overwhelming. Finally, Hairaji has a clear plan for her dream. She wants to become an astronaut and explore new worlds, experiencing many adventures. The boys ask Suchita why he became a teacher, and he responds that he enjoys working with children and believes he would be adept at caring for them. However, the truth is that he originally wanted to meet and impress a young teacher. Later, in the teacher's lounge, they all discuss their desire to become preschool teachers. Yamamoto credits her childhood teacher for inspiring her, Kakogawa values it as a noble profession, and Kazano wishes to train children to be physically active. Later that evening, Yamamoto invites Tsuchida to her apartment to watch a movie and hang out. It is another normal day in Hanamaru's garden, but unlike other days, this time at the gates, a mysterious boy is watching Kaun. But nothing happens because it is her brother who loves her very much to his little sister. For this reason, he has gone to see her since he has the day off, but he is more worried because the next day is field day, where many physical games are performed, and since his brother knows how Kaun is, he is afraid that when the time comes, she will arrive last and she will cry. Therefore, after listening to them, Kum asks for help to train. So they call Kusana to train her and make her run all day. Field day arrives and everyone tries hard at their games. Kenji gets encouragement from his teacher, and Hinajiku is the best at holding bread in her mouth. But as usual, she has to scold her Yakuza family so they don't stand out. Finally, it's time for the speed races, where all the kids try to win their medals, but in the end, it's Kaun's turn, who is still nervous. But Kusana is waiting for her at the finish line to relieve her. The game begins and all the students start running hard, with Kaun in the lead who could win the medal. However, she stumbles before she can continue and finishes last. Still, everyone applauds to congratulate her for her efforts, but this makes Kaun stop and cry. Her brother arrives at the finish line and waits for her, and although Kaun does not win, he makes her feel better by giving her a medal for her efforts. In the evening, the teachers gather to celebrate the birthday of Nishikaze, one of the teachers. At the gathering, everyone starts and in the end, Kakogawa ends up and tells Tsuchida that when she first arrived, she thought he was useless. But now he has gotten used to the job and seems like a better person. After the birthday party, Tsuchida and his friends retire to a karaoke bar, where Kuzano and Kawashiro try to encourage him to propose to help him they give him until he completely loosens up and with a song in between, he proposes to Yamamoto. The next day, however, he is and tells Hairaji that he before hearing his wife who's answer and is so embarrassed to talk to her that he is late for work. Just then, Anzu arrives with Hinajiku and wants to play with Tsuchida. At that moment, however, Kuzano arrives and since she is very loose-lipped, 
She tells the girls what happened, who immediately comfort Tsuchida, since they think that Yamamoto rejected him, but that is not the case, according to Krizano, the best thing Tsuchida can do is to ask her directly about their relationship now. So he goes to her to talk about it, where he finds out that she is getting married, but only because they saw pictures of a friend of hers at her wedding. There he realizes that he can't let them take her away from him and asks her for an answer. But since Yamamoto is so clueless, she only remembers the song Tsuchida sang. This frustrates him so much that he takes his friends out to and in the end, he gets so that he ends up in the garbage, where Sakura finds him and thinking of quitting his job. We pass by again to see the Tsuchida's house, which is in disarray and because he is about Yamamoto, he goes out into the rain and wants to scream, but doesn't dare because he's too embarrassed. The next day at work, the children notice that he is much more out of it and bored than usual, to the point where it affects them, and the headmistress asks him to do something about it, as the children don't feel good about him having such a gloomy aura. In the end, the next day, he takes the day off due to a cold he caught from the rain and to lift his spirits, Anzu arrives to act as his wife, leaving him to take care of the household chores, but she is not able to clean up well as she is very clumsy and breaks things. Also, Tsuchida doesn't cook much, so Anzu can't take care of that, so they just make ramen noodles. After so much work, Anzu is exhausted and falls asleep, so Sakura asks Tsuchida to leave her there, as she has too much work to do as a writer. Although Tsuchida has no problem with this and cures her cold, she is still down the next day, which worries Anzu, goes to her mother to ask her what to do since she wants her to be happy, but does not want her to keep thinking about Yamamoto, so it is complicated. But Sakura tells her that with the power of love, everything is possible. With this in mind, Anzu goes back to Tsuchida's house, where she continues to be his wife, trying to do things like cleaning the clothes, the house, or preparing food for him. And although Tsuchida is the one who cares more about her, sh she ends up having a good time. At night, he has to take her back to his house, where he can see her sleeping in his arms. When he arrives at Sakura's house, she asks him to help her write, since she is late with her work because her husband got sick, and they cannot continue with the show. So Tsuchida starts to write for her, and although he has to cut it down a bit, it is very useful for what they are looking for. In the middle of his work, she asks him if he likes his work, and although he enjoys it, he does not feel as motivated as before. It is there that Sakura bothers him a bit because he started to work for Yamamoto, but he is still a good target, and to solve his problem, he first has to make sure not to be so gloomy so as not to worry his students. With this new resolution, Tsuchida goes to Yamamoto's house the next day to express his feelings, but just before he leaves, he meets Mayumi, who tells Tsuchida where his sister is and then goes to Hanamaru to tell him what happened. Tsuchida then goes to see Yamamoto, finds her writing some letters, and then takes her for a walk, where he asks her what she would do if a boy proposed to her. To which she replies that although it would make her happy, she is too busy becoming a good teacher. So without realizing it, she makes a friend of Tsuchida, who realizes that they are not compatible and therefore cannot go out with her. When she returns home, she meets Anzu again, who prepares dinner for her, as she has learned to cook better since the last time. When it is time for her to go to bed, she asks him to tell her a story, and he starts telling her a story about the clumsy prince, that is, himself, and the clumsy princess, Yamamoto. At the same time, she and her sister talk about Tsuchida and today's date. Sometime later, Christmas finally arrives and the children are very excited about it, except for Anzu, who is still worried about Tsuchida and that he is in love with Yamamoto. This does not stop her from going to her mother's to help her with the food, but on the way, she falls asleep and asks Santa to fulfill her wish. So now we see her transformed into an adult with a better plot than before. With her new body, Anzu goes out into the city to have fun and do adult things. However, she arrives at a place where the Christmas tree is and her friends appear, who lead her to a bus, but she doesn't recognize them even though they look familiar. Soon after, Tsuchida arrives and takes her off the bus, and they both seem to know each other, but they can't remember how. Then they both start dancing in the snow, and as they do, they get closer and closer until they finally kiss. At that moment, Anza remembers that he is Tsuchida, the man she loves so much. However, she is sad because she wants to be with him for real and not just in a dream, since she was asleep the whole time. While she is dreaming about Tsuchida, her friends and everyone else arrive at the Christmas party, where they all go to an art exhibition where the paintings of Sakura's husband are displayed. There are a lot of paintings to be seen, but Tsuchida does not understand anything about them. Then he notices one in which Anzu and Sakura appear, and the colors depict the warmth of the family well. According to Sakura, this painting was inspired by him. So we are taken back to the past when she met the art teacher, and how she witnessed one of his paintings where he portrayed a landscape of Thailand. So she began to talk to Tsuchida about the professor, delighted to see all the things he knew about the world, and so she always tried to spend time with him, leaving Tsuchida alone. One day, the two met at the river, where she lamented that the teacher was gone and that no matter how hard she tried, she was always looking at someone else. When Tsuchida saw her, he told her the same words he told Anzu, that the power of love can do anything, 
And with that in mind, he managed to inspire Sakura to continue with her teacher, and eventually, they got married. This painting was possible thanks to Tsuchida and the magic words he said that day, which are now responsible for Anzu being so attached to him. In the end, everyone leaves the exhibition, Yamamono and Tsuchida leaving together while taking Anzu with them, and talking about those beautiful words he said in the past. Then the two say goodbye and Anzu finally wakes up in Tsuchida's arms, but seeing him about not being able to invite Yamamoto, she starts to encourage him, as she wants him to be happy. And no matter how immature he is in comparison, the power of love can do anything. That ends up motivating Tsuchida, who runs off in search of Yamamoto. Once he meets her, he tries to propose once more, but she thinks he's talking about work, and envies how he's so good with children, despite only having been there for a year. This is later told by Anzu and her friends, leaving them impressed at how clueless Yamamoto can be, and in the end, it all ends with Tsuchida and Yamamoto telling a funny story to their children. Lady.